Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the Sikorsky S-97 Raider, a next-generation high-speed scout and attack helicopter that's pushing the boundaries of rotorcraft technology with its coaxial rotors, pusher propeller, and cutting-edge systems, designed to redefine battlefield agility for the United States and potentially its allies. And whether you're a military aviation enthusiast, a defense tech geek, or just fascinated by the future of vertical lift, you're in for an explosive episode packed with every detail about this revolutionary platform. So buckle up and get ready for the ultimate deep dive into everything that makes the S-97 Raider a game changer in modern warfare. Developed by Sikorsky, a Lockheed Martin company, the S-97 Raider is a prototype leveraging the company's X-2 technology demonstrator, first unveiled on October 20, 2010, and aimed initially at the United States Army's Armed Aerial Scout Program, with its first flight on May 22, 2015. And it's now being pitched for international programs like NATO's Next Generation Rotorcraft Capability and South Korea's Experimental Utility Helicopter Project, showcasing its versatility after the Army's Future Attack Reconnaissance Aircraft Program was cancelled in 2024. Let's break down its design. The S-97 Raider is a sleek compound helicopter measuring 11 meters long and 2.1 meters high, with a maximum takeoff weight of 5,436 kilograms, powered by a single General Electric YT-706 turboshaft engine producing 2,600 horsepower, achieving a cruise speed of 407 kilometers per hour and a top speed of 444 kilometers per hour, with a range of 570 kilometers and a ceiling of 10,000 feet, and it carries a crew of two pilots in a side-by-side -side cockpit, with space for up to six passengers, and its defining feature is the X-2 technology, featuring rigid coaxial counter-rotating main rotors and a variable-pitch pusher propeller, enabling high-speed flight while maintaining low-speed maneuverability, and the fly-by-wire system, advanced flight controls, and integrated vehicle management systems ensure precise handling, with a sensor suite including electro-optical-slash-infrared systems for reconnaissance, though targeting sensors are reserved for production models, and it can carry external weapons like Hellfire missiles and 7.62mm guns on optional winglets, enhancing its light attack role. The S-97 Raider's role is centered on high-speed scout and attack missions, offering unmatched agility for reconnaissance, light attack, and special operations, with its coaxial rotors allowing unique maneuvers like nose-down hovers, sideways flight at 93 km per hour, and pirouettes, while the pusher propeller enables whisper mode for stealthy approaches by disengaging to fly like a conventional helicopter, and its low acoustic signature and compact 11-meter length make it ideal for confined urban or rugged terrain, and testing has demonstrated speeds up to 215 knots in a shallow dive with regular flights generating engineering data to refine its design, and its open systems architecture supports rapid upgrades, making it adaptable for missions like armed reconnaissance, close air support, or replacing the MH6M Littlebird for special operations, with a target unit cost of $15 million for production models. Operationally, the S-97 has been active in testing since 2015, with over 100 flight hours by 2019, including a notable demonstration for the United States Army at Redstone Arsenal on April 13th and 15th, 2021, showcasing low-level maneuvers and high-speed runs, though a hard landing on August 2, 2017, at Sikorsky's West Palm Beach facility caused rotor blade damage and minor pilot injuries due to excessive roll oscillations, leading to improved flight control software and recent demonstrations, like one on February 11 and 12, 2025, at West Palm Beach for international audiences, highlight its export potential, with social media posts praising its speed and agility, though some unverified claims of Chinese cloning reported in August 2025 raise intellectual property concerns but lack conclusive evidence, and the Raider's 80% commonality with the larger Raider X, developed for the cancelled Future Attack Reconnaissance Aircraft Program, underscores its role as a technology testbed, with Sikorsky investing $150 million and suppliers contributing $50 million for two prototypes. Culturally, the S-97 Raider has captured attention in defense circles, debuting internationally at the Paris Air Show from June 16th to 22nd, 2025, 
symbolizing the future of rotary wing aviation, and its sleek design and performance have drawn sci-fi comparisons, with defense media highlighting its potential to redefine helicopter roles. And looking to the future, Sikorsky aims to integrate advanced avionics, artificial intelligence-driven mission systems, or compatibility with unmanned platforms, ensuring relevance through the 2030s, and potential upgrades include the improved turbine engine programs, more powerful engine or enhanced sensors for networked warfare, making it a candidate for NATO's next-generation rotorcraft capability or commercial applications like search and rescue. So there you have it, fans. This is the ultimate deep dive into the Sikorsky S-97 Raider, a high-speed marvel reshaping vertical lift. We want to hear from you. What's your favorite feature? The coaxial rotors, the whisper mode, or its attack potential? Is it the future of scout helicopters, or are there better options? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Smash that like button if you loved this deep dive. Subscribe for more epic military breakdowns, share with your fellow defense enthusiasts, and hit that bell icon so you never miss an upload, because we've got more high-flying content coming your way. So stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next one.